Hey guys, so this is what I plan to wear for the date night and I hope you can see me. Uh, it is a sort of blush pink and grey leopard print Diane Von Furstenberg top. It's got sort of sheer three quarter sleeves and a sort of off the shoulder roughly bit. And then I'm just pairing it with these Topshop Joni jeans um, for a more casual look. And then for shoes, <laughs> which is gonna be hard, are just my typical, I've had these for like over 10 years, Christian Louboutin um, nude pumps. And it kind of goes with the top. And I just thought, I don't know if you can really see me or anything, but I just thought this would be a really nice date uh, outfit because, you know, it's a little bit sweet and pretty being off the shoulder, girly, pink, soft, what we're going for. And then jeans to kind of casual it down a little bit because we're gonna start in the evening and it's summer, so it's still quite light. And then, um, but it's still got, like tailoredness and like nice pumps for as we transition on for drinks afterwards and stuff. So this is the one that I really want to wear and I hope you guys agree with me. I'm just going to wear no necklace and just some earrings too from Swarovski but um, I haven't sorted those out yet. So the next outfit is this Topshop top um, that I got in the sale. It's blue and white, it's quite girly and pretty with ruffled sleeves. Joni jeans and then my shoes are now these cork wedges and um, I got these in Miami two years ago which is quite fitting because that's where we technically met so um, yeah and that's like a casual thing and I'll probably just throw in throw on a white cardi but I was thinking this would be a good one to wear when we're touring around London and stuff. What's the next one this is a white off the shoulder top from New Look and um, it's quite, it's not cropped but it's a little bit shorter, a little bit more flowy. It has these cute little like textured dots on them and um, I just thought this again with jeans and you know I wear jeans all the time so really it's going to be the same wedges and this. So this I thought for a coffee date or a brunch or something I thought would be quite nice. So this is my other kind of even, evening option. It's a blank um, bodysuit, just like v-neck from New Look. And then this sort of throw on, kind of oversized, wingy <laughs> sleeve thing from Zara. Again with Joni jeans and Christian Louboutin pumps. So um, it's a little bit more casual. I think the first one that I showed you why I like it is just because it's a little bit more formal. So. Um, I don't know, I thought that would be a better choice, but again, these are all probably outfits that I will wear. Um, it just depends on um, what type of date we're going on. But yeah, this is that one. And now onto the two dresses. Karen Millen dress, and underneath it, I've got a sort of silk cami crop top from Brandy Melville. And it looks kind of like a safari <laughs> or a trench coat, sleeveless. And this one I was going to wear for um, one of the dates, but I'm actually going to meet them in this dress. And the reason why is because if I pack this in my carry-on, it's going to get creased. And I don't want to risk um, ironing it and ruining it and everything. So on the day to meet them, I'm already wearing it on my purse and I can make sure like it's quite nice and done upright. Um, I thought this might be a nice first dress and kind of a little bit girly to like say hi to the person and then I'm just pairing it again with my wedges from Stuart Weitzman to make it a little bit casual but um, this is yeah essentially what I'm going to meet them in so I didn't really tell you but I have to meet them at the airport they're flying over to come see me and take me out on a few dates so it's very romantic and um, yeah I thought this one would be a really nice one to kind of welcome them to England in yeah, and last one is a dress and um, and then that's it. The last dress or the last outfit to show you is this floral three quarter sleeve from Topshop. And again, I've got a black silk uh, crop cami from Brandy Melville and I'm pairing it with my Louboutin shoes. And this was the other contender for day night um, just because it's floral, so it's kind of casual. Um, but then it's a little bit formal because it's a dress and um, the only 
concern I had about this was one, I'm kind of I'm going on a double date, so my friend is wearing jeans, so that was one thing. Second of all, it's going to be a bit cooler at night, and so I wanted my legs to be like covered and warm. So <laughs> those were the reasons but otherwise I will still wear this um I might wear it with white trainers as a more casual look in the day or with my actually with my black aquazura Christie flats that tie up so I will wear this maybe on the day date versus a night date um but yeah these are the main outfits I've got like um jeans and a t-shirt as well for other days um but for the actual dates um these are the sort of clothes I was thinking of. Sorry, I'm barely even showing you my face and do a proper introduction. First of all, because it's the night before and I have no makeup on and um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to post this. I have to play back and see if the quality is okay because I'm doing this myself and focusing it. So I'm not even sure. But um, yeah, I you guys really wanted to see the outfits and kind of put your two cents in it. So um, I hope um, you like what I've chosen and you think it's nice. Um, I was going to do makeup looks, I'm no longer going to be able to do that. But I'm just going to keep it really soft and I'm, I'm normally I'd go all out but I think I'm just going to not. I think um, uh, something's telling me not to do that. So just for the date night I will put in a little bit more glam but um, other than that I think just uh, simple and clean will do. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care guys. Bye.